What's in the Bag Wars with Brian Lara? Let's do it. Let's do it now. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. If you're new to the channel and this is your first time watching my content, first of all, I like to welcome people to the channel, Brian. Second of all, if they are new here, what they have to do, they have to hit that subscribe button so they don't miss any of the great golf related content that we bring every single day. I'm sure Brian's a subscriber to the channel. Yeah. Just don't, just don't <laughs> tell them, mate, just don't tell them. But if you do enjoy the content, they've just got to hit that like button, Brian, and that's it. Yeah. Also guys, hit those comments below. Who do you think wins this what's in the bag war battle? Basically, we're gonna talk golf and we're gonna talk a little bit of cricket. So Brian, first things first, what a career you've had, mate. Oh, it wasn't a bad career. It wasn't yeah. a bad career. <laughs> what a bad, wasn't a bad career. It ended a long time ago, yeah, though, so there's a few things I don't remember. If you've ever had your own PlayStation game, then you've done pretty well. You've done pretty well. It's you Thank and you. Tiger, really. So, Brian, before we get into this, we're going to talk a little bit about golf clubs, but obviously, like you said, you play cricket to an awesomely high standard. I happen to know you're a pretty good golfer as well. Single-figure handicap? I am, but I was down to about a three, and then I'm out to eight now. I had a little okay. bit of a frozen shoulder for oh, okay. a few years, so yep. changed my swing, and it's gone. Well, if we put it down to injury, mate, and then I have a few lessons to get back, that's absolutely fine. I happen to know as well that somebody won the nearest... To pin. We played in the prom today, didn't we, Brian? Yeah, so, yeah. unfortunately, not together, but somebody yeah, won the nearest pin, all I'll say is it wasn't me, so... Maybe the first prize I ever won. In great shot, actually. mate, great shot. Yeah. So we're going to start, Brian. What we're going to do, we're going to look through our golf bags and we're going to explain to people why your driver is better than my driver. But we're going to start with wedges, okay? So I'm going to go with 50 degree. And all we're going to do, I mean, it, it wouldn't be, we wouldn't have Brian Lara on the channel and not have a cricket themed video, would we? So we've got the bales out there at, I'm not going to lie, Brian, I haven't paced it out, but I think it's about 30 yards, okay? I'd uh, rather 22. So, 22, <laughs> 22. That's a cricket yeah. reference, isn't it, mate? Yeah. <laughs> And we're going to chip some balls to it, and as we're doing it, you're going to tell me why you like your wedges so much. Okay? Okay. That good? Oh! I imagine that first time. <laughs> so, Brian, what wedge are you using? This is a 52, keeping it low. Yeah. Oh, sorry, 50. 50? Yeah. Oh, mine's a 50 as well. Is yours a Mizuno, though, by the looks? Yes, it is a Mizuno. So, the big thing here I noticed straight away is the colour difference. So, obviously, I've got the black, raw, tailor-made. I mean, this has got to be my round, Brian. These, these are beautiful wedges, but... Silver, chrome, do you not find that sometimes in the sun that kind of things up a little bit into your eye, maybe? Well, not really. Yeah? Yeah, it's, it's okay. But I don't play enough, uh, enough, enough golf in the sun. Well, where do you play? I play a lot of golf in England. It's never, it's never yeah. sunny there. It's I, never sunny. I noticed, actually, there was an umbrella on the back somewhere as <laughs> well. Is it still there? There we go. In the Middle East. Did not expect Brian <laughs> Lara to have, <laughs> have an umbrella on there. So, Brian, I'm going to go on. Yes. And I'm going to say that... I'm actually going to say that I like your grip because it's red and that can be for Manchester United. How's that? Not bad team. Do you want to go one more, Brian, with that? So, Brian, if we talk more towards the transition from cricket into golf, I've got my, so my best mate has got it. He's got it. Yes. <laughs> okay. So my best mate is on the channel with me as well. He's a total beginner. He's rubbish. And he'll be watching this, so he's fine with saying that. He's mad into cricket. Absolutely loves it. What can you say to him? Sorry, what did you take out of your cricket game into your golf game that helped you get such a good player? Well, first of all, I'm not anywhere close to in golf that I was in cricket. But I think um, my patience in, in, in cricket, I played a lot of test cricket and mm -hmm. I, pre I prefer that form of the game more than anything else. Yes. And in golf, you need patience. Yeah. You know, you're out there 18 holes. The one thing, you know, you get a, you get a good delivery, you nick it, you're back in the pavilion. In golf, you've got to stay out for 18 holes. It doesn't yeah, matter yeah. if you have a bad hole or not. So patience is needed. That is so, I did not expect that. Yeah. Because you get so frustrated out there as yeah, well. It could, so it's it absolutely could. perfect. So we're going to move on to irons now, Brian. I'm going to go six irons. I'm going to try and send it in low at the bales. So, Brian, because you've got one, that's one nil to you, mate. I'm going to let you keep the honour. Talk us through the irons, mate. So what irons are we using? Uh, this is a six iron and it's something that, you know, maybe if you're the edge of a green and you have a long little chip into yeah. to the flag, you can use something to get the ball the ball. Yeah, the a bit of a so pump and run This is what I'm going to try. I think that I'm going to try to get it rolling onto, onto okay. the Okay, and what kind stuff. of, so it's a bridge stone we've got there. Yeah, we've got a bridge stone. I spent uh, about four hours hitting ball in, uh, balls in Australia. Sorry, how long? About four hours in, in a in a, like a studio. Year. Yeah. In a, like a 
Four and, hours across yeah. it, a year or a day? Uh, no, no, in a day, and in Australia, I think it's, I haven't uh, spent four hours in balls, I think, collectively, in the that, last four years. That might, have, that might have been the reason why my shoulder went there. It could be, it could be. That <laughs> potentially was, mate, yeah, to be fair. Um, do you want to have a go then, mate? Sure. You sure you don't want to have a go? I've got go a on, lad, go on, then. I'll, I'll, take, take the lead. I was hoping you'd say, guys, I've, I've got the Mizuno MP20. How good do they look? Pretty good. They're the best. Good. I can't use them. Are they not going to be shining in your eyes with the it sun? It could be, but there's no loft on that, oh, so I'm okay. okay. You see, I'm no good as well, so really, I've only got those, so people look in my bag and they look half decent. Right, we need this. <laughs> that would have been four buys if it missed. <laughs> Do I get a chance? Or Absolutely, one, one? mate, you'll get a chance. Yeah, I love the red grip again as well. I'm absolutely loving that. Is there a theme throughout your bag, Brian, with regards to brand or not bothered at all? Uh, no, they put it together. So it's the Bridgestones irons and uh, the Mizuno wedges. Um, we got the, the tailor made driver. Oh, so we're, coming on to, we're coming on to driver in a second. Yeah, right? we, we, we. Just anything. Yeah. Know? <laughs> Middle stuff. So, we're going to start talking about cricket again because I honestly thought that, well, I'm not going to lie, Brian, I thought I beat you at this. <laughs> but if we go into cricket, that's more your realm, so I'm not under any pressure there. What's it like holding so many records? Well, you know what? I, I would sort of um, swap any of those records to play in a very successful Western team. So, even though there is, uh, it's, it's fun to have it and it's is great, uh, I suppose, a great legacy to have. Yeah. Um, the West Indies team that I played with, you know, was in a bit of decline compared yeah. to that invincible team that we had in the 70s and 80s. Yeah, yeah. And when you play a team sport, really and truly, you want to win matches. You know, yeah. you don't want to hold records in a team that, you know, was not a very good absolutely, team. Absolutely, yeah. Okay, that's, that's such a great answer again. That's absolutely brilliant. Uh, let's go, Brian, now, because we're too good at this, obviously. We know three would make. Have you got three wood in your yes. bag? Yeah. So I've got at the moment, my bag changes a lot because I keep saying this, I, I, I tinker a little bit, right? I'm using the Cobra Speed Zone King SZ. The reason why it's got these rails on the bottom, and for me that helps me get a bit of a, a strike on there. So, what is it you are using three wood wise? Yeah, I'm using the Callaway yeah. and uh, XR. This looks like potentially your favourite club in your bag, is it? I wouldn't say so. No? I think we went through that already, the 50 degree. Was it? Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking at the wear marks and the one looks like you've used that a lot off the tee, mate. Um, is it my honour or is it your honour? I think it's your honour. Right. Yeah. Now, normally, Brian, what I'd do here is I'd set the bales up around 270 yards with the three wood and I'd just kind of send it out there. But for today, we're going to keep it nice and relaxed today. So, are you okay with that? Yeah. <laughs> Go on, Brian, I'll let you go, mate. What shaft is that? That looks like quite a cool shaft, mate, as well. That's it. That's a Cara, that one. Lovely colour scheme there as well. Oh, We're going to go one more round, Brian, with that one. See if we can get anyone out there. So, here's a question which I had in my mind since everyone knew we were going to do this video. Did you play golf while you were playing cricket? Yeah, I started. My first game of golf was actually in left hand. And um, we had a 4 day game in Montserrat against a West Indies four prong pace attack. Okay. Ambrose, Benjamin, Benjamin. I was playing for Trinidad and Tobago, they were playing for Leeward Islands yeah. on a green top. Yeah. It lasted two days. So we had two days to spare in Montserrat and um, I don't know if you know, that's the island with the, uh, uh, is it the volcano? Oh, so actually, yeah. you know, 10,000 people, they only got like about one or 2,000 people. Yeah, yeah. So I might have been the one, one of the last few people to play the golf course. And from that day onwards, I got hooked. Yeah, and then you decided to go right-handed. Well, yeah, I, I think that um, I felt that at that point in time it might have affected my cricket. Okay. So um, I switched across to, to right-handed. Also, Tiger Woods was about um, to start yeah, his career. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, they didn't have any sort of left-handed heroes to look up to. No, at that point no, I mean, Phil came along left-handed, didn't he? Yeah. But what you're saying yeah. is basically you are the ultimate professional, and although you wanted to play golf, cricket still came first. Yes, most so. definitely. Right, we're going to do one more with this, then we'll look at drivers. That's not hard, Brian. That was the top. That was the top. This is for me to go up. This is for you to go up, mate. Yeah. So the competitive spirit is still running there, which is good to see. <laughs> oh. You know what, Brian? We're going to go drivers, and you won't be a driver. Tell me you have a dog at home. Is that what the head cover means? 
<laughs> yeah. I did. Unfortunately, sadly, uh, he oh, passed no. away. So. Oh, bro, I feel terrible. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. That's really. all right. Sorry. So we're both using TaylorMade. Yes. Fan of TaylorMade? Like it? Yeah. That's good. That's nice. So Brilliant. I've got. I've got the SIM at the minute, which is the new one. It's all right, so I get these to test. It's not warranted to be fully in the bag yet, but I like it. I like the sound of it. What is it you like about your M4? So guys, this is going to be a big round, this who wins the driver round, M4 versus SIM. Well, I think it's, uh, I think I make good contact with it. I look, I yeah. like the shaft as well, and it looks good. It sits well, it, does sit it looks very well. nice. So um, that's about it. I don't hit it very far. No? But, um, that's not a club sport. So you know what I'd give you you know what I'd give Brian extra points for here, the dots on the face. Because that means he's having lessons, everybody. Yeah, yeah is that right? That means I got a simulator now. You <laughs> haven't. Right, I concede that round then, that's fine. You know what, Brian? I'm gonna go first this time and we're gonna yeah. tee it up. Usually for this I'd put it at 350 and okay. just I'd play a slight draw onto it normally, but we'll see what happens today. Hopefully we won't touch this one. It's getting harder, isn't it, Brian, to be fair? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it out there, Brian. This one's for the win. So you're saying that uh, my two to your one doesn't count? Oh, you two went uh, up anyway. Yeah. Forgot about that. And then I've got one more cricket question for you after that. Oh! You're frightening how good you are, aren't you? <laughs> so, so, do you want one more? No. So, Brian, just before we round up, mate, thank you so much for your time. I have to ask you, can you tell me your favourite moment on a cricket pitch? I'm sure there's been mm -hmm. yeah. thousands. And your favourite moment on a golf course, apart from obviously today? Well, on the cricket pitch, actually, it wasn't any other records. Um, I had a very, I was captain in a very young team um, in 2003 against Australia. Yeah. And in the West Indies. And we've never been beaten 4 0 in the West Indies. And we were 3 0 down in Antigua for the last test match. And Australia gave us 418 yeah. to win yeah. uh, on the, in the fourth innings fourth and fifth day yeah. and we got it it's a world record and uh, we celebrated that day and that test match like if we won the series yeah we yeah. lost the series 3-1 but um, it was just an amazing feeling yeah. also uh, the 2004 champions trophy beating England uh, oh, at the Oval that Brian. was also something very special <laughs> you know <laughs> Brilliant. what about on the golf course mate uh, on the golf course I just think um, spending time with my two best friends yeah uh, that is always the most special thing and they are Dwight York Wolves, you know, from Manchester United yeah. and we call the other one a magician, uh, Russell Latipi. He played for Paul Kirk, he played for, uh, I think, um, Porto. Yeah. Uh, what, a, what an amazing player. The yeah. three of us from the age of about 9, 10 grew up together and we're still very good friends. Absolutely awesome. If ever you need someone to make up a four, bro, Brian, you know who to call <laughs> yeah. me. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, really, nice really appreciate it. Me. Guys, if you are new to the channel, make sure you do hit that subscribe button below. Massive thank you to Brian for his time today. He won the nearest to pin at the Pro-Am here at the Omega Dubai Desert Classic. And he's a bit of a player because he's beat me today as well. Guys, apart from that, leave us a like if you enjoyed that content. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Really good. Cool. Really cool. 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 Cool.